At this time the Quick Speed Shop, it's rust prevention season again. Usually I'm a fluid film guy, but I got a new product to try out. What do we got here? Surface Shield. We're going to spray it on a brand new vehicle. We're going to see how it sprays and uh, compare it, see what it looks like compared to fluid film. So if you want to know about Surface Shield or fluid film or rust prevention or lanolin based uh, fluids here, we're going to do a video about it. Bam, right now. Right, let's take a minute to talk about what these products are. These are lanolin based uh, rust prevention material. It's based on the waterproof substance that comes from sheep wool and keeps the sheep from getting you know wet in the rain and they wring it out of the wool and they make this rust proof product. Uh, I've been using fluid film for three or four years and I've sprayed a lot of it on a lot of cars and a guy wanted me to do his car. I told him about fluid film. Well he picked up this new uh, stuff that Blaster PV Blasters came out with called Surface Shield and it's a lanolin product just like fluid film but it's just a little bit different I think in texture and nature so today I've got a Honda Pilot out there I think it's brand new and we're going to spray some uh, Surface Shield on it and see how it goes but before we do that let's take a look and uh, we'll take a look inside both these and we'll see if you can tell any difference in the consistency I usually apply fluid film every year to a vehicle and the service shield says that you can apply it every two years so that might save you some money if you don't want to put uh, rust prevention on your vehicle every year but uh, let's pop these open and we'll take a look I've already had the service shield open and I actually already sprayed a, sprayed a car with it but let's go ahead and we'll open up the fluid film and take a look I can see right away there's a big difference in the consistency of this. See how uh, liquidy the surface shield is? Now watch this when I go into fluid film. The fluid film is way viscous, a lot more viscous. It's almost like pudding and the surface shield is like uh, more like the liquid. But I'm going to go ahead and mix up the fluid film real fast because I haven't done it yet. And I just take a piece of rod on the drill. I can see how thick the fluid film is. It really hangs on to the rod there. It's it's real, real thick versus the what is this just a little bit versus the surface shield. Look how liquidy this is. So as you can see, the fluid film is way viscous, way more viscous, viscier than the uh, surface shield here. Surface shield is super liquidy. The stuff, fluid film is super thick. Now when I spray these, I use this gun. I got it from uh, Kelsport Products. And it, you fill up the quart jug, you use the compressed air. I got this wand on here with a brass nozzle. I use this to get inside the frame rails and I end up doing the whole floor and everything with it. The broadcast pretty good. I've used this gun for a couple of years now. It's sprayed a lot of cars. So I've already sprayed one car. The guy let me use this for the demonstration. I've already sprayed one of his cars with it. We're going to go ahead and spray that Honda Pilot with it next. But it, you'll see how it sprays on. It, it, they both apply about the same, same way. You know, using this gun, it aerates it pretty good when you spray it on there. But this is a lot liquidier, liquidier so we'll go... I think it shoots inside the frame a little bit better and it's easier to really fog it on there with the compressed air. I, I run this about 85 PSI and it really, this really, I think, creeps around. But I'm going to be curious to see, um, it's fall time now, so I'm going to be curious to see how well this product holds up over the winter versus uh, the fluid film. I have experience with the fluid film. I've done a lot of cars with it and I put it on every year. The best time to put it on is when you have a brand new vehicle. 
If you're interested, I did a video, a four-year comparison between two Chevy Silverados, one that was sprayed every year with fluid film and one that was not sprayed, and it's really, you can see the big difference between the two rust-wise. Uh, I did a link, there's a link for that up here. Today we're going to go out and spray this Honda Pilot, which has never been sprayed, it's brand new, it's never been run through the winter, so there should be absolutely zero rust on the bottom of the vehicle. We're going to spray it with a, with a surface shield and put it to, put the stuff to the test and see how it goes. I think we'll do a little comparison test. I'm going to put a little bit of fluid film in my gun here. We'll spray some fluid film uh, on the vehicle first and then we'll switch to the surface shield. Because the fluid film is so viscous, I made this system up. I got a cheap uh, drum pump from Harbor Freight and I just use it to pump like this into my fluid film gun and it, it works pretty good. It pumps pretty easy. Then I drilled a hole, I can just stick this back in and it goes back into my fluid film. So I just put a little bit of fluid film in the bottom of here. Let's uh, get this pilot go out and we'll hit it a little bit with the fluid film and then we'll hit it with the surface shield and we'll see the difference. Okay, we got our fluid film here. I'm going to do the right wheel well. We'll take a look and see how it covers here. See the yellow color. Now you can get this on any either products, surface shield or fluid film. You can put out electrical components and everything else. I've covered up the windshield with a cloth, so I'm going to hit inside the hood. I'm just going to spray it under the hood. Either product is good for painted surfaces, won't hurt the paint. Okay, I've sprayed the core support and half the hood of some fluids film here. Let me go switch to the surface shield. We'll do the other side of the hood, under the hood, and I'm going to do the rest of the vehicle with surface shield because that's what the owner wants. The surface shield comes out because it's so much more, uh, less viscous, it comes out a lot faster. Well, as you can see here, surf shield goes on a lot faster. Um, it's got a little bit of petroleum distillate in it that I don't know if the fluid film has or not. But I'm going to be curious to see the difference. I've done the passenger side wheel well with the fluid film. I'm going to do the driver's side wheel well with the uh, surface shield. Next year I'm going to be curious to see how the fluid film hung on that side versus how the surface shield hung on the rest of the vehicle. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and spray the rest of this. We'll take a look when I get done underneath the car and see how it looks, but uh, the surface shield really goes on fast and the secret I think is it's more more liquid and so you can fog it right on. All right, after about a, an hour and a half of spraying, almost a gallon of surface shield, got the bottom of this pilot sprayed really nice, put it on really thick and heavy and sprayed in all the frame holes, took the plugs out, got it up in everything above the spare, all over the place. You can see it pretty much coated the entire bottom of the car very liberally with the surface shield and uh, we should be good to go. 
So there we go, a comparison video between surface shield and fluid film. You can see the difference in the consistency of the very more liquidy surface shield compared to the very viscous fluid film. I've sprayed that Honda Pilot really, really good with a surface shield. So in the beginning we did a little bit with the fluid film just to compare. And I'm going to be real curious to see how this stuff's going to hold up. I've had good luck with fluid film. Hopefully the surface shield is, is just as good. It actually sprays a lot easier since it's very liquidy. You can get it in a lot of places so it might actually get inside and penetrate even better than fluid film because it's going to travel more. I don't know, that's my guess. But uh, this is a new product to the to the market and the uh, owners wanted to try it out and I'm glad we did. So thanks for watching. Another rust prevention wind lanolin video here from the Quick Speed Shop. I've done a few more. If you go back on the channel you can look. I've done a comparison of fluid film, fluid film black, wool wax, wool wax and black, and now surface shield. So kind of being the lanolin expert here at the Quick Speed Shop, but I want to keep those cars rust free so you can get years of use out of them. They're so darn expensive you got to make them last. So Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again working on cool stuff or doing demonstrations. Anything that's going on here at the Quick Speed Shop. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home.